Okay, so for this next type of factoring, we're going to use a special products rule. Difference of two squares, that's this example right here. A difference of two squares, the first term is a perfect square, the second term is a perfect square, and there's a subtraction sign. Difference of two squares. The factor pattern for the answer is A plus B, A minus B. So, let's try a couple following this pattern. Difference of two squares. First example, there's two parts. That's the first clue. Only two terms to factor. Next check, are they both perfect squares? 81. 9 times 9. 4a squared. How about 2a times 2a? So let's try the factoring. This would be 9 plus 2a, 9 minus 2a. Now, of course, you can check the factoring, just like in the last section. Multiply your answer. You should get what you started with. 9 times 9. 81. 9 times 2. Negative 18a. 2 times 9. Plus 18a. 2a times 2a minus 4a squared. Middle term cancels out. 81 minus 4a squared. Check. So we factored a perfect square binomial, or a difference of two squares, excuse me. Um, all right, difference of two squares again. Are they both perfect squares? Well, 5x squared is 25x squared. 16y squared would be 4y squared. Two terms, subtraction sign, both terms are perfect squares. Follow the factor pattern. A plus B, A minus B. 5X plus 4Y. 5X minus 4Y. That's the answer. You can check it if you want. I'm not going to. Okay, one more example. Two parts. Could it be a difference of two squares? Minus sign. Both parts are not perfect squares, though. Three. Three is not a perfect square. So, let's go back to factoring. Special products, greatest common factor. Maybe there's a greatest common factor for this one. Let's look and see. Three. Three goes into 48. There we go. Oh, they both have X. How about greatest common factor, 3X? When I do that, next to the 4 minus 16. Now, you might think you're done, but remember, double check to see if you can factor a second time. And this factors again. 3x we keep as part of our answer. If it factors into a difference of two squares, all I have to do is follow the factor pattern. x squared, squared, and 4 squared. This becomes x squared plus 4, x squared minus 4. Then you think, whoop, maybe I'm done. Double check each part. Okay, 3x, I know I can't factor that, that was a common factor. This, is there anything common to both? No. They're both perfect squares. Does it fit that example? Both perfect squares, is it a difference of two squares? No. It's a sum. That doesn't factor. Uh-oh. Perfect square, perfect square, minus sum. This one factors again. It's a difference of two squares. X minus 2. X plus 2. I still have this part of the answer. And this part of the answer. So, long problem. Difference of two squares. Sometimes you have a difference of two squares straight up. Sometimes it's in disguise. You have to do common factor first. Be careful. Try your luck at the homework.